Today is the biggest update we've ever seen for Halo Infinite, and there's a lot to break down. In this video, I'm gonna give you the TLDR of everything you need to know about the winter update for Halo Infinite. So if you guys like these news and informational type of videos, make sure you tap that like button. It helps out the YouTube algorithm a lot. Let me know in the comments down below what's the main thing you're excited about with the winter update. And stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So what time does this update actually go live? It goes live at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Before 3 recently threw up this map, we're here to kind of showcase in all different time zones within the world to showcase when it's going to go live for you. So just kind of account for that. There are some new things to progress now with this new update with the new Battle Pass, the Winter Update Battle Pass, which brings you a free 30 tier Battle Pass for you to unlock some new items. It does give you the Season 1 Mark V B Armor Core for free with this as well. And we covered the past previously here on the channel. There are some really awesome things that are notable with here, especially the CQB helmet. I've been seeing that a lot in my comments, as well as the shoulder pieces and chest piece that have a really cool knife on it that we've seen bots in Halo Infinite have been rocking since launch. Now we finally get a chance to play around with it. Now you do have a battle pass to progress through, but previously you had to focus on just doing challenges, which were fine, but can be really tedious and annoying and force you to play in ways you don't want to play Halo in. Well, that's been completely revamped with Halo Infinite now focusing on the match XP beta that's launching with this winter update. Now you'll be earning more XP through just playing the game and also be rewarded more XP depending on how well you perform within the match. Now the challenges are going to stay within Halo Infinite. They're going to be something more generic overall so you can just kind of play Halo Infinite however you want and progress. Now you still have to complete all the challenges to earn your weekly ultimate reward but they actually did a great thing of cutting down the challenges from 20 down to 10 challenges for the week. So they made it less grindy and you earn XP through just playing the game as the main source of progressing through the ballot pass, which is fantastic. The match XP beta and the revamp to the challenge system might be the largest quality of life improvement we've ever had for Halo Infinite. There was also free content you'll be receiving for just playing the game and jumping in and logging into Halo Infinite, not even playing. You'll be receiving the birthday bash kill effect for free as a gift as kind of like a one year anniversary for thanking players for sticking around for Halo Infinite for so long. My hopes is that it does have the grunt birthday sound to it, but we'll just have to wait and see. We have two new maps coming into Halo Infinite. We have Argyle, which is a symmetrical arena style map that actually will be going into ranked as well. It has two sniper rifles on this map as well, which is very rare now within Halo Infinite. So it's gonna be really fun sniper duels happening on here. We also have the new map of Detachment playing in here as well, which is gonna be much more of a social type of map. It's also the only map within Halo Infinite to feature a teleporter and these are the first maps from Forge to be implemented into the matchmaking, which is really exciting stuff. We also have the new mode of Covert One Flag. The way this one plays out is that the attacking team is equipped with the active camo, while the defending team is utilizing threat sensors, along with specific loadout weapons for each team. More on modes and playlist updates with the Winter Update later in this video. I've also been seeing a lot of questions about the Pit remake coming into Halo Infinite, which will be coming in confirmed before the end of 2022. If you want to know the 15 plus changes that were made to the pit in Halo Infinite compared to the classic versions that we have been playing for years now, I have a video on my channel to check out. One of the biggest features I'm really excited about coming into Halo Infinite is online co-op campaign, which I'm super excited about. I had a chance to play the flight early access of this feature and I found myself just losing track of time playing co-op campaign. It might sound a little dull because most of us who are watching this video, I'm sure, have already played the campaign, but trust me, it's a whole new experience playing with friends. So don't downplay this feature, guys. It's gonna be really fun to jump in and play some co-op campaign. I was playing with a friend. I was like, okay, I'll have a busy day. I'll maybe play for like an hour. And then like three hours later, I was like, okay, dude, I gotta get up and mow the lawn. And for you grinders out there, there are 24 new achievements coming with this winter update. Achievements ranging from just kill X amount of enemies to some specific ones like complete the conservatory within 15 minutes or defeat Tremonius with a skewer. Now, probably the biggest drop of content we're getting with the winter update is the Forge beta. Now I've made multiple videos on this channel showcasing some amazing things people have made with the leaked out version of Forge that's really incredible. If you thought Halo 5's Forge was great, wait until you play Halo Infinite's Forge. It's basically a dev tool for people to play around with. Now making content is fantastic, new maps and modes, always that great, but fundamentally you need to find a way to be able to share this content around so people can go around, download it, possibly go viral. 
That's why a great thing with 343, they made a recommended tab, a popular maps, popular modes, and popular prefabs in the game as well. So you can search up what people are downloading and playing, what the most popular items are. There's also an ability to search content as well for specific things you're looking for. Or just currently launching with six maps that you can forge on, which are all brand new for you to play on with the maps of Arid, Ecliptic, Institute, Mars, Seafloor, and Void. But like how I mentioned, you can do this all in game. You can also do this on the website of Halo Waypoint, which I am super happy about with. They recently just announced all this great thing saying Halo Waypoint's latest update brings all the Halo Infinite content browser to the web, which is fantastic. This is actually back in Halo 5, they had the same feature and I actually use the website to search up content to bookmark it to play it on my console back on the Xbox One more than I did actually searching in the console itself. I always just found it way easier to go to Halo Waypoint. So so now you'd be able to do this on the website now this was absolutely crucial to have the content be able to be something that people can easily share find download and experience this is absolutely what was needed and i'm glad that 343 did this now remember when i was talking about the covert one flag mode and how we would talk about modes and play it's more later in this video well we've gotten to that point now 343 actually released a playlist roadmap, if you will, for the game, showcasing you the social game mode that we're playing, the core game mode that's being in the rotation, and ranked mode that's being part of rotation as well. If you want to know exactly what's happening every day, just pause the screen right now for you guys to see what's exactly happening for the month of November and December. There will be six permanent playlists that will be staying within Halo Infinite for the foreseeable future, those being Quick Play, Big Team Battle, Ranked Arena, Fiesta, Tactical Slayer, and Team Slayer. And beyond those six playlists, you'll have an additional three playlists you'll ha always have to play when it comes to your core, social, and ranked experiences as well. Another major quality of life improvement is going to be with the matchmaking and CSR gains. Region selection is coming in with the winter update so then if you're coming across situations where you're having bad pings and you'd rather wait to have a good ping into the match under the gameplay tab you can change from expanded which is the default search setting to local now for all you ranked grinders out there csr gains and losses have definitely been changed with the winter update where they're putting more emphasis on winning the match compared to individual performance which seemed to be the biggest weight when it came to how much csr you gained or lost some minor changes to how you gain and lose csr were changed with this update where if you quit out of a match early, you lose a lot of CSR. And it's more forgiving for players who leave a game where they're outnumbered. And a new flag system to indicate players who might leave a little too early or too often for them to get banned. There were some significant changes made to the sandbox of Halo Infinite, some major nerfs and buffs. With the weapons that received buffs were the Commando Rifle, Plasma Pistol, Pulse Carbine, and Disruptor. The nerfs coming to probably the best gun in the game, the Battle Rifle getting a little bit of a nerf, Frag Grenades getting nerfed, Snap Slide being removed from the game, the sword also gaining a little bit of a nerf on top of the drop shot ability to drop your weapon faster than actually swapping your weapon has now been changed where that is the same time. If you want to know more about the sandbox changes, check out this video right here or also check out what YouTube recommends for you. Thank you much for watching. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.